For the next four days, we're exploring Split, Croatia. Split is known for its famous blue lagoon and stunning clear water beaches, but you might not be as familiar with Split's more unexpected side. Fascinating history and some weird novelty museums, we're going to experience it all. Welcome, Welcome to Split, Croatia. Croatia. This week we're exploring beautiful Split, Croatia, nestled in the Adriatic. We're going to be doing some beautiful beaches, some boat rides, and some interesting history. And of course, we're doing it with a friend. Annika is an old friend of ours from university, and she's living in Switzerland now. Oh, you're coming. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. How have you been? Yeah. Yeah. She's adventurous and loves to find the weird and unique places anywhere she travels. So. It was amazing. I loved it. It was so weird. So we're excited to have her along for this trip. But before Annika arrives, we've got to get settled in at our Airbnb. Welcome to our home for the next three days here in Split, Croatia. This is probably the nicest Airbnb we have ever stayed in. So let me show you around. Come on. So the first room on our tour is the bedroom. Just a really nice, big, spacious, and comfy room. And there's even a nice view, but we're gonna save the view for later. So for now, nice bedroom, but let's keep going. Going along further into the apartment, we have the bathroom. I think this bathroom is as big as my bedroom at home. There's this beautiful, massive tub and a shower and this lovely artwork, I don't know. It's a nice bathroom. Moving on to the kitchen. I mean, it's massive and it actually has a stove, an oven, a toaster, and a microwave. I mean, most of the places that we've stayed in Europe so far pretty much just have a stove. So this is luxury. Also check out this massive island. I mean, this is so much counter space. And then we have the dining room. Lots of room to sit and eat or work at our laptops. Now let's move on to the living room. This living room is so spacious. There is a beautiful big comfy couch, a massive TV, and we even have a little bit of an office space. I feel like this is like the perfect spot to just set up your laptop and get a little work done looking out at this gorgeous view. Speaking of the view, let's go out onto the balcony. I mean, take a look at this view. I mean, this is just incredible. There's this beautiful outdoor space with a couch and some bar stools to eat out here, but I really feel like between the aesthetic decor and the beautiful view, that is what sold me on this place. We just got here, but I'm like already looking forward to coming back. Of course, the best thing about our Airbnb that we haven't even mentioned is that it's less than five minutes walk to the beach. is a gorgeous beach. After all this time driving around it, I'm so excited to finally get in to the Adriatic Sea. Seems popular here with people and cats. Oh, that's cold. I thought I was worried it was cold. It's cold, but we gotta go ahead, we gotta plow forward. I'm pretty sure it's snowing back home, and if it's not, it's about to, so. This is plenty warm in my opinion. I'm gonna take swimming in mid-October as a gift, not question it. as Georgian Bay was in June, but it's getting there. It's getting there. I would say this, this water is probably like 60 degrees. It's not too bad. Where are they? Nice work. While the sun is setting, beach cat is still beach catting. I think we're gonna pack it up and get back at her tomorrow. Dan. What is it? I've got some bad news. So I just got a message from our Airbnb experience host and our boat tour tomorrow is officially canceled. Oh, 
And like in the most dramatic way possible too. Oh no. So here's the deal. We booked this speedboat three island blue lagoon tour through airbnb experiences and that all seemed good there was good reviews until this morning i got a message from our host ivan saying that for the tour to run he needs at least six people on the boat and there's only four people that have currently booked so myself and dan and then another couple and basically he was like we can still run it like if each couple just buys another ticket then i'll still run the tour for like the four of you but otherwise i can't do it or would you like to be added to the friday tour anyway we aren't going to be here on friday so the friday tour wasn't going to work for us but I also was kind of like, do we really need to like pay extra to do this? It just, it was feeling kind of sketchy. Anyway, it ended up that the other couple was like, so where did it ever say in the fine print that we needed a minimum number of participants? And I had also read through the information and it didn't say that. It said that it could be canceled due to weather, but it never said that it could be canceled due to, you know, not enough participants. Anyway, very quickly after the other couple asked about the, you know, cancellation policy, Ivan was basically like, okay, never mind then. We're canceling the tour. Goodbye. And the group chat like disappeared. I didn't even know that Airbnbs could have group chats, but I guess you can. Long story short, Ivan canceled our tour the night before, and I have no way to even leave a review because the experience never happened. Well, that sucks. I really wanted to go on a boat ride. I know. Can we book a different boat ride? You know what? I feel like we've been walking around the city a bit today and there are like, it seems like hundreds of boat let's tours do, Yeah, let's do some research. It's time to go look and see if we can find a different boat to go on tomorrow. This place is actual magic. Don't mind my lovely morning look here. <laughs> Every time I see this view from the balcony, I'm just blown away. Like it is so gorgeous here. This apartment is so wonderful. Like it is beautiful. I wish I could live here. <laughs> Today, Dan and I are going on a boat tour of the Blue Lagoon and a few islands, which I'm really excited for. And Annika is headed out for a dive. She's done scuba diving lessons and is doing a scuba dive today. So that's really cool. So I'm very excited for this day of aquatic adventures. <laughs> Now that we're down here at the dock, I can see that there are tons of boat tours departing every morning. Honestly, I think you could probably just go up to one of these booths and buy a ticket right now if you didn't already have one. This is where we're supposed to meet for the tour we booked last night. Fingers crossed that it didn't get canceled or something. Let's go find out. Two wristbands for vegetarian lunch. I'm so excited. It's official. We're going on a boat. I'm so excited. I'm just so glad that we're like on a boat tour that is actually happening. This is so exciting. I'm really pumped up. We ended up booking a cruising boat tour rather than the speed boat tour we were originally going to do, which I think ended up being way nicer because it meant we could get up and move around and spread out. In fact, why don't we show you around the boat? Here's the main deck where we're sitting. There's a small bar area and a small back deck. There's even bathrooms on board and an upper deck too. Check out the view. Welcome to our first stop of the day, the island of Chiovo. 
Of course, when given an opportunity to swim, we take it. I just can't get over how clear the water is. Did we mention that lunch is included? It's a good lunch, wouldn't you say? Yeah, very good. After a bit of a lunch stop and some swimming here on the beach, it's time to get back on the boat and head on to our next stop. I've never swam in such clear water. I don't even think it's cool. It's just so cool how you could go under and see so far. Well, we absolutely loved the Blue Lagoon. The water was so clear and so blue as advertised. I think we found a new hobby in snorkeling. I think that we both like love that so much i want to i wish we could have so spent more fun. time in the water i felt like they were calling us back and i was like has it really been an hour lots of fun that's such a fun experience but the water was so clear oh my gosh the music on this boat is popping <laughs> <laughs> we listened to this already but you know what we gotta listen to it again it's too good our last stop is at an actual shipwreck now it's a modern shipwreck, not like some pirate ship or anything. This is a fisherman's ship that sank about 13 years ago, our guide told us. He said it's very close to the surface, so I think we'll have a good chance of seeing it. Time for an adventure. Oh my god! That is crazy! Can you believe that like 80% of people stayed on the boat? No way! The view is so much better from it in the water. I'm worried the boat's gonna leave without us. Once again, we are not ready to finish swimming. This is really so much fun, but I think our time is probably almost up. Yeah, we'll head back to the boat. That was awesome. Swimming was so much fun. I just loved it. Maybe we've turned into aquatic explorers. Maybe we should have gone on the dive with Annika, because clearly that's what we're just loving. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should get into scuba diving, because yeah. snorkeling was so fun. Yeah. Good morning! Today we are exploring split by foot rather than by boat like we were doing yesterday and we started off the day by checking out this local market. And now we're off to find some coffee and then join a walking tour. 
Also, we're here with Annika. Everybody <laughs> meet Annika. <laughs> Yesterday, we were on our boat tour. Annika was diving and uh, now we're exploring together. Okay. Well, we've been walking, we've been seeing these old Roman remains. I think it's Diocletian's Palace, something like that. And it's crazy how the whole city is just built into these old Roman ruins. They've just added their supermarkets and stores in among the ruins. I'm really excited to learn more about it on our walking tour. It's a chocolate. That so good. Good. I'm gonna start the morning on an absolute sugar high. Yeah. <laughs> this place here in a small town called Solin. If you come here with a car, you have to pass through Solin. That walking tour was so cool. It's crazy to see this Roman Emperor's retirement building, the Diocletian Palace, nestled next to some Venetian architecture from the Republic of Venice. And all of it has just been incorporated into the city. It's been added on and built onto over the years. Our guide was fantastic. She gave us... No, I like that. That's part the atmosphere. <laughs> I got spooked by the birds. Yeah. Our guide was fantastic. She also gave us lots of interesting information about Croatia itself. It has 30 years of history as an independent country and the history leading up to that is fascinating. I loved it. The guide had such an excellent sense of humor and was pointing out all these like weird little things and then was also very, she had like a person, her family's been here for mm -hmm. all like a lot of generations and she was so like sarcastic about a lot of Probably things. Probably one of the weirder tourist attractions here the in largest Split. largest stuffed frog museums in the world. Literal stuffed frogs. This is taxidermy. <laughs> in a variety of everyday scenarios. Yeah, everyday <laughs> scenarios. <laughs> so we're going to head there next. was fraudulent everything that you dreamed of. It was amazing. I loved it. It was so weird. These like tiny little frogs all stuffed with, I don't know. What. Yeah, who knows what. It's bizarre. <laughs> it's historic. That's the part that gets me. It's like, it'd be weird if somebody did it nowadays, but somebody made that a hundred years ago. Like, what? Somehow that makes it less weird. What? Mo <laughs> That's pretty weird. While both weird and wonderful, we really enjoyed Split. It definitely tops my list for destinations that I would love to return to one day. We hope you've enjoyed joining us on this little adventure. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the final episode of our Adriatic Adventure, where we visit some of the most underrated countries in Europe. We'll see you then.